It's going down. We are gonna find out about where you've come from. What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Super Cooper Sunday. I'm actually very, very excited about this episode. Like this, this is gonna be interesting. I'm, I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. So anyway, what we have here guys, our DNA kits for all three pets. Where's Bella? She might be back here. This is her special little spot. She's not in that thing. Oh, she's back here on all the beach bags. Hello, Bella. Sorry to awake you from your nap, but you're gonna be needed for this. Anyway, like I said, these are DNA test kits. We are gonna open these things up. We're gonna do whatever we have to do. I think we have to like swab some gums and pull some hair and I, I don't know what's gonna happen. You send it off and then you get the results in two to three weeks. Now the cat kit we have is from Base Paws. The dog kits that we have are from Wisdom Panel. We have never used these before. This is not like a sponsored video or anything like that. We did sign up for their affiliate program. So if you guys use our link, we get a cut of it and I think you get a little discount. So if you guys want to try it at home, feel free. But keep in mind that, again, we haven't used it yet, so you're gonna see how it works and if it's pretty accurate here in this video. I think the cat kit was $95. The wisdom panel, they have two of them. There's one that's 80, it detects the breed and it's got um, allergy for medications and stuff like that. Or the big boy, the $150 one, which is the one we got, does both of those, but then it also looks for just kind of like health problems that they could develop in the future and stuff like that, which is gonna be interesting. In terms of breeds, Cooper is supposed to be 100% purebred AKC certified golden retriever. I've got his paper, so I'm gonna be really upset if he's anything else. Coda. Supposed to be 100% AKC? purebred. Okay, great all right, party. we'll find it out. It's kind of cool. Apparently they like, especially if you have a mixed breed, it shows you like their family tree all the way up to like four generations back, which is insane. So we'll see. I mean, these guys hopefully have some pretty clean records. Yeah. Bella's gonna be interesting. I'm really excited about all, Bella. All I know is she's doorstep kitty. She's 100% doorstep kitty. That's all black, we know. Black, so small cat. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be interesting. And uh, I'm just, I'm kind of excited. Cody, you look a little nervous. You look, you look a little nervous here. We're just gonna do a few lab tests on you. Some pokes, some prods, maybe pull a little, a little hair here and there, just just like oh, that. There, there we go. Um, Cooper, you, you're all right with this? I don't know, it's gonna be interesting. So we're gonna, we're gonna do this now. We have to wait two or three weeks, unfortunately, and then we'll share the results with you guys. But um, who, who should we do? You wanna do the, the kitty first? Yeah, I let's, feel like that's gonna be the biggest. Let's do Bella first. Don't worry, I found the cat. <laughs> Here we go, good girl, Bella. All right, the world's first at-home cat genetics test. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. Bella, this is, uh, this is gonna be really interesting. All right, meow human, welcome to Base Paws. You've gotta swab the cheek pouch for 10 seconds to collect saliva. Nope. <laughs> this is crazy, there's, there's a specimen bag, there's a, for animal use only swab kit in a medical pouch. Oh man, Bella, where'd she, you go? I've always wanted to be a doctor. Always wanted to pretend to be a doctor. How, how do you get it open? That's that's how we do it around here. Wow. Okay. So we've we've got our genetic test here. We're gonna unscrew this part. Oh gosh, I don't I don't like this. So 10 seconds in the cheek, hold the tube upright and turn the swab upside down into it, shake it 10 times, seal it in the bag, put it in the box, ship the box back. Okay, um, this, this is gonna be your job. I don't want her to hate me. Okay, Bella, I, I apologize for this. One. Good girl. Good, come two, on, good girl. Three. Good girl, get it. Four. Get that. <laughs> Bella, come here. No, Good she girl. she doesn't like Five, it. Five. Yep. Eight. Nice. Oh, okay. That's probably that's good. That's probably good. Okay. Hope, hopefully that's good. Here, come here, Bella. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ow. Okay. You're gone. You're so done. Put it in. Put it in there. Screw it Screw on. Screw it on. Give it a few shakes, and I think we're good. We've got our specimen bag here. Okay. Go ahead and throw her in. Boom. We've got the glue. And she's done. Slide that on out of the way. All right, next up we've got the big boy, the dog kit. What do you think, Coop? I can't wait to see what it says. You guys know we've been dealing with Coda's diabetes insipidus where he thinks he needs water all the time. It'll be really interesting to see if that shows up. I don't know That's if it can really. I'm excited about to see 
really detect that. Apparently it can like pre-detect issues you might have in the future, which is kind of cool, which I feel like should just be something that every vet test does. Yeah. But um, anyway, we are gonna try to open this thing up. So we've got to peel back the swab sleeve, gain cheek cells by firmly rolling bristles between the cheek and gums for about 15 seconds and then put it in the carton to dry. That's it. So it's just, I thought we were gonna have to pull some hair. So we've gotta sign up online before we get our little code we have to put on there, but uh, we're, we're gonna start with the coda. These things, they look like little, little pipe cleaners, I guess. Yeah. I don't know, can I get that close enough? Will it focus on it? Probably not. All right, well, we're gonna do two for coda, then you stick them in this thing to dry just like that. You put them back in the sleeve and you mail it off. Oh, look at the sleepy boy. <laughs> Coda, what are you doing, buddy? Here we go, buddy. Oh, you don't even know what it is. <laughs> it's a scary pipe Dakota cleaner. Sit. That's all he has Dakota, to Dakota, sit. Dakota. Come Look on. at that awkward, awkward state. Dakota, sit on your Dakota, place. good boy. Dakota, sit for me. Good boy. Good boy. He'll sit for Stay. death. Stay. Stay. She's. <laughs> is this a two person job? <laughs> Two, three, four, go by five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Good boy, Coda. Oh my goodness. All right, so we've got the first one going there. I am covered in flour. Now round two, maybe the other side. Open that lip up. That's a that's a big lip. That's a big lip. Get it in there. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That Let's was a go. good boy. All right, so those two are done. Now we're gonna go get Cooper out of the bathroom. He couldn't handle not having the swab in his cheek. So we'll, we'll see how he does, because this is so exciting. He, he knows what this is. He's, Dakota's getting treats out here. It's, this is something you want he to- He immediately <laughs> ran up and sniffed his mouth. He did not have a treat. Okay, let's get this thing open. It's Coop's turn. All right, Coda, it's round three. It's round three. We got to get in there. We got to get in there. <laughs> Coda, come here. Come on, it's round three. Oh, you would do it for me? Okay. I wanted to scare him because I didn't think he liked it, but I guess he would do it again. Anyway, Coop's got a donut. Don't worry, a jelly-filled one. All right, we're going to put this away because we've got to swab your mouth. All right. This is going to be so much fun, Coop. Are you ready? Here we go. Good boy. Oh, it's gonna be so yummy. <laughs> One, two, no, three, four, five, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Come on! Good boy. I have no clue how to do this without getting a lot of boob. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I apologize. I thought my dress was cute, but maybe not. One, Good boy. two, three, thirteen. 14, 15. Now it's time to find out if you're actually a purebred golden retriever, if I was shammed and paid way too much, way too much money for you. I, I wouldn't be mad. <laughs> I, I really wouldn't care. But anyway, we're gonna let those dry for five minutes. We're gonna put them back in the bags, send all three of these boxes off, and we are gonna see you guys in two to three weeks. One eternity later. Koda, come here. Yeah. Family, gather around. This is exciting. <laughs> oh my goodness. What's up, buddy? Coop, hello. Chels, what's going on? So uh, that first like eight or nine minutes of this video was actually filmed a couple of months ago. You can tell because yeah. Bella was super small. So uh, it didn't- I thought it was super hairy. <laughs> <laughs> he was, yeah, he looks so much better now. It didn't take that long to get the results. The results were like, I think like eight weeks or so. But then we just got caught up on like, holiday episodes and birthday episodes and themed episodes and stuff like that. So this video hit the back burner, but I'm excited we are gonna be starting 2020 off right. We are gonna be finding out the results. The DNA tests are in. You are not the mother, I'm sorry. Oh no. Oh man, but seriously, so again, like we mentioned before, Cooper, I paid a ton of money for an AKC purebred golden retriever. Coda, she was told he was a purebred Great Pyrenees. Yes, so let's uh, let's see what these results are. And Bella is a purebred door cat, cat. Dump, <laughs> dumpster cat. I don't I don't know what to call her. So here we go. We're gonna start. Let's start with Coda. All about Dakota. Here we go. He is 
100% great Pyrenees. <laughs> he just started smiling and like cheered. <laughs> it estimates that his height is between 25 and 27 inches and his weight is 80 to 120 pounds, which is crazy. So it knows that he's like a small Pyrenees. Right. Well, this is incorrect though, because it says independent spirit that responds well to reward-based approach to training involving treats and toys. It also says can be standoff and wary with strangers, which is not true. He just lays down and looks at them like, are you going to pet me? He'll bark at them as they approach the door, but then you're best friends. Yeah. So we have a family tree and it's all Pyrenees. <laughs> just like the scene right here is all Pyrenees. Yeah. Just all on my face. What's up, buddy? I'm so happy you're legit. It does say that he is not at risk for genetic diseases. He is not a carrier for genetic diseases. And he is clear of 151 disease mutations. So nice. It's good to know. So you aren't, you aren't diseased. That's good. And then... Is there anything in there about licking Ottomans? but I just dusted that. It has like duster stuff on it. What are you doing? And then the last page we have some of his genetic traits. So it's going to have like tail and ear length and things like that. We know all about you, buddy. What do you think? He's proud. You're legit. You're a hundred percent. Look at that rock star fighting wolves, protecting sheep up in the French Alps lineage. This is the pinnacle of what a great Pyrenees should be. Awesome. You're looking at it. Now this is where I could potentially get upset. All my life, I always wanted a golden retriever and I wanted the best that you could get. I'm pretty sure I got them, so no matter what, I'm still gonna love you, but I'm really nervous to hear about this. We have 100% golden retriever. Yes! Woo, Coop, you made it, good boy! Good boy, you're 100%, you're both 100%, oh my gosh! This one's pretty accurate too, 20 to 24 inches in height, 55 to 70 pounds in weight, and he's about 60, so. Right in the middle. We have his family tree, and of course, it's all golden retrievers. Sweet. I wish there was a way to see every golden retriever that's actually on the family tree. Which right, is so cute. to look back and like, maybe he was related to a Disney Air Bud or something. Yeah. Like, that'd be funny. And then it also says, zero at risk for genetic diseases, zero carrier, and clear of 152. So he's clear, yes. that, clear more than one of CODAs. Nice. They are having a puppy party in the background. They they know that they're good boys. And then do we have uh, do we have like the genetic traits and stuff on there? The same thing. Although this is interesting. It says Cooper does not carry any copies of the gene for furnishings, which would give them fuzzy beard and eyebrows. It means they probably have smooth, short facial hair, but then the rest of their hair is furnished, which would be true because he doesn't have the smooth, long coat. He kind of has like puppy hair. Right. Yeah. We, that's something we've always said is that it looks like he never got his adult hair. Which which we actually really, really like. We never intended on that, but it looks like that's reflected in his yeah, DNA. That's so that's interesting. Two out of two so far, very good news. Not like even if it was bad news, we wouldn't still love them, but this is where it gets interesting. So a little over a year ago, a little black cat was dropped on our doorstep. Let's find out where she actually came from. We're gonna watch you together. Here we go. All right, do we have any, any guesses? I have no idea, literally no idea. I think she's some type of Asian breed because of the shape of her face. Okay. Big, but there's like hundreds of those. So I actually know exactly what she is. She's a house panther. Yes. That's, that's precise. <laughs> it can't even focus on her. We really should have gotten a, a different color cat. The Did camera can't really focus. Can we get like a white one or an orange <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You're, you're getting heavy. All right. She has four breed groups. Western, Eastern, Hybrid. And polycat. So she's just a mix. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna be really disappointed in this. Your cat is most similar to these breeds: a Persian, a Russian Blue, and a British Short Hair. Which, if you guys look at their faces, that's totally the face shape she has: is the Russian Blue and the British Short Hair. Okay. But here's where you're gonna be sad. What? Your cat is more similar to these wild cats: <gasps> a cougar. A that's cool. Oh, tiger. Oh, yeah. I see a tiger in you, girl. You are so feisty and tough. A leopard and a cheetah. Where's the panther no, at? Wait, panther. cheetahs are my favorite cats, though, so that's that's pretty exciting. But she's a house panther. She's supposed to be, but not, a, not according to her DNA. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so then we have a genetic composition of the breed groups on a chromosome map, and I don't know how to read this to you. <laughs> Hybrid polycat. That's that's. You want to look at it? Okay. So that's that's. What do you 
That's the story of where Bella came from. She's from the east, from the west, and uh, British polycat, hybrid, whatever. She's just a mix of everything, and she was dropped at our doorstep in the middle of the night, and she has been a terror ever since. So I guess instead of calling her a house panther, we've got to start calling her a house tiger. So anyway, there you guys have it. That was actually really, really cool. Like the fact that we can figure all that out just from like a little mouth swab is kind of incredible to me. Yeah, like I, I thought that was awesome. Uh, the DNA kits that we used, it, this isn't a sponsored video, they didn't reach out to us or anything, but we noticed when we bought them that you could sign up for like a discount code or whatever. So if you guys wanna try this with your own pets, then if you use the link down in the description, we'll have one for dogs and one for cats. It'll save you a little bit of money and then we get a small kickback from that as well. So it'll help support the channel and support the pets. We're just gonna buy more food and more toys with that, but uh, don't feel like you have to, we just wanted to throw it out there so anyway thank you guys so much for watching we are going to see you guys in next week's episode of super goober sunday drop a like if you guys enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already let us know what you want to see down below we'll catch you guys later peace out